now that you guys know how to post to our WordPress site, I'd like to give you guys some pointers to make your posts even a little more sophisticated and even a little more engaging. Four basic things I'd like to point out to you guys. One, I'd like you to all use categories and tags to add some metadata onto your posts. Do embed hyperlinks to other parts of the website, to external websites that will add um, uh, depth to your postings. And then I just want to mention that it's totally fine and appropriate. You guys should be adjusting, tweaking the images that you're using on your uh, posts or pages. And then lastly, uh, everybody should, as a default practice, be adding a feature image to any given post. Let's take a quick look at some of the postings that have gone on here on our Cook's Island blog. First thing you'll notice is things that I've put in um, have a, a designation. If we scroll up here, we can see there's different categories. They have tags, they have uh, categories. I'll explain those in a second. Most of the default things students have posted are uncategorized and there's no tagging. So let's talk about that. Let's start, I uh, don't want to pick on anyone, but the first one's up here is, let's see, um, is Aspen's one. So let's take a look at her post. All right, great, so she has a little post here, that's awesome. Um, now, the things I'm about to show you, you can do uh, most easily from a browser, from, from your desktop or laptop, but all this can also be tweaked and adjusted via your mobile app. So in this case, uh, she's written some text, it looks great, all this kind of good stuff. She has a picture embedded, that's awesome. And uh, there we go, we got a great post. So let's have a look over here. Right now, it's uncategorized. In this case, I have created a bunch of categories uh, for this particular web page. It includes things like um, ethnobotany, culture, ecology, different examples of ecology. Now for categories, categories are things that we've set up ahead of time, and these are uh, categories of posts or, or information. So what you'll notice is first, if I were to click one of these things that uh, is down here, I can have them be by themselves, I can have two things be clicked, etc. Um, right now, if we go, because it was uncategorized, the link, if we were to send this to someone, would be the name of our blog, then the category, and then the title of the post. Now, we can change this if we, we want to keep our title this, but if we want to have it be shorter in the things, in the, the link that's communicated to people, we can do that as well by just clicking the edit here and changing this. But notice if I come up here and so this is a post on what she do. She did a post on weather and, and, uh, and maps and things. So let's check it out. So we might want to call this, this might be something, let's call it, I don't know, logistics maybe. So I come up here, I'd unclick these guys, and then when I would update this post, this is gonna change. So let me just do that right now. If I hit update, when this updates, now we'll notice that the link actually says logistics, keep up with the cooks. So we can do that. So one, I'd like you guys to add a category to all your posts. If you've made them before, go back and, and, and adjust them so they have a category or your new post, please make sure you add a category as you're creating it or posting it. The other thing we can do is tags. Tags are anything. Categories are these default bins we put everything in. Tags could be anything. Maybe this is about weather, maybe this is a map, whatever. And we can just type whatever we want in and the stuff pops up. And so we can use whatever tags that you like that you like, that you saw someone else used, what have you. So that's tagging and mapping. Next, I want to talk about embedding links. Whenever we look at web pages, um, one of the great values is the the great depth we can get in the hypertext nature of stuff. So if we look at this, um, there's there are no uh, hyperlinks in here. Not a problem. If you want to do that, um, again, you can do this on the mobile app as well. Though it's a little bit harder with the 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 touching um, and and doing that on the small screen but the principle is the same. So let's say uh, New Zealand. So here's blah, 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 weather, blah, blah, New Zealand. Let me find out what we want to link it to. Um, in this case, I've already selected a site and this is the CIA World Fat Fact Book about New Zealand. So I can copy that link. I could put a Wikipedia link in. I could do whatever I want. And I would come back over here. I would highlight New Zealand, which is where I want the link to appear. I click this link th sucker hit paste and I suggest having this always open in a new window so you preserve the existing window with the existing information and then say add a link. Now whenever this appears if someone says oh New Zealand I can click and link to that and you guys can do that throughout your posts um, as time permits and as, as things are convenient. Next 
Um, so here she says, I be she believes her post, so her mouse is on uh, the post. That's great. So here's an image. Now realize we can, the default image, we'll just throw the image there. It'll, it'll be uh, showing up right there. But if we click on the image, we can do all kinds of stuff. We can change the alignment. We can have it centered. We can have it right adjusted, whatever we want. Uh, if I click edit here, I can also uh, do the same thing. I can also add a caption. And so when you guys insert a photo, generally that's a good thing to do. If you got the photo from somewhere else, absolutely um, uh, put in there the source of the image and then that will show up whenever uh, the caption is displayed. So we can just say um, uh, map, map of the South Pacific. Boom, update. Now we notice there's a little caption on the bottom here. Okay, so, so the other thing we could do is we could we could trim this photo, we could shrink the photo, etc. And you guys might want to do that depending on your post. Um, we can also a good thing to do is to come back here and let's see uh, and um, and double check uh, how we're doing stuff. Sometimes again when we're typing from our mobile phone, it's hard to get some of the special symbols. But you can come back after the fact, say with your computer, and come up here and put in an actual degree sign, for example, and some of that text that's a little bit harder to do um, from your phone. It's possible, but it's a little bit harder. So I can just again come up here, update, and that'll be great. So the last thing uh, is let's have a, a set a feature image. This could be the same image that's in your post if you want, or it can be something different. So in this case, I've already added a photo into the media browser that might be a nice tag. And so I'll just set that as the feature image. And then again, we'll update and that's nice practice. Now, when we go to see what the page looks like, and if we do a new page here, and we can see that at the top of the post, that um, feature image shows up. And again, if we click this, we'll be taken to a hyperlink about New Zealand, etc. So there you go. So with these few tips, you can really make your um, uh, blog posts and your pages really pop and be that much more sophisticated.